The Ella community in Port Mosby is shocked and outraged by these killings. A morning house or house cry is currently being staged at six miles to mourn the deaths of the officers. This morning, the Ella Provincial Administrator William Bando and several other leaders held a news conference. Mr. Bando, whilst addressing the people, said they are setting a benchmark for the island's region and that is not to take up arms. People and the nation need to know that we have moved on as people and as, as province and uh, we are running our province and I appeal to Southern Islanders to mind your own business, run your province. Uh, we we set the benchmark now, you beat us or we beat you in the way we're going to run our provinces. And, and uh, we will go through this. Uh, it's not the first time that we're going through. We've gone through the last 30 years, and, uh, but our Southern Islands friends fail to understand is that uh, we have a government, we have an administrator, let's be. Uh, we have our members elected, we have a governor, and uh, we are as good as them. And we are better in this business of butchering and blood sucking, but we've said look enough and let's forgive and let's allow the court of justice and the police to finish the job. The two officers killed are from Korobale, Kopiago, Indiana province. The incident occurred after the declaration of the Southern Islands Regional Seat last week. William Powis' win has upset other candidates and supporters who decided to take up arms, resulting in the ambush of these two young officers. A shocked Ella chief, Damien Arabagale, is calling on responsible authority to ensure law and justice prevail. We are also telling our leaders from Southern Islands, the administrator, the governor of Southern Islands, the members and ministers from Southern Islands, the prime minister, to come and join us. We all have to find out way forward and on this big crisis that took place, that innocent lives are lost. Both officers were stationed at the Koroba police station. The recent killing has brought the total number of officers killed in election-related violence to four. Two were killed in Hanga province in July. Sheila Malkin, NBC National News, Port Mosby.